So in your circle of classmates spanning beyond aerospace engineering, how far do you see this thinking that, you know, B-Tech is not enough anymore? Do you see that as a settled decision or are there people that are just happy being B-Tech? So I think there's mainly like three kinds of people. So one set is the people who are going to do their higher studies, masters or PhD. And I would say that fraction is kind of low as of now. So that's most of the people still end up doing their B-Tech and then graduating. But the second and more growing part that I'm seeing now is a lot of people are getting into startups. And I think that's quite interesting because there's a lot of aerospace startups that are coming out nowadays and people tend to just graduate and join these startups. So I find that quite exciting and interesting nowadays. That's coming up a lot. Does that not excite you, Purna? I think as Ashwin said, I also enjoy research a lot. I think I want to uh, learn more. I want to contribute to the research community. I, I don't know. I think the startups are very exciting. But then I think what excites me most, what I've understood after three years of my undergrad is that I want to study the fundamental aspects of fluids, the fundamental aspects of the aerodynamics that takes place for airplanes to fly. And I think that I would enjoy a research-oriented career in that direction. 